we first started, when I first started making music, we recorded in the closet with socks on the mic. Man, rough times, it was it was rough. Before Lil Yachty would clock in just shy of 10 million Instagram followers, over 2 million subscribers on YouTube, and 5 million on Twitter at the time of this recording. Before Lil Yachty would catch flack early on in his career, admitting that he's not particularly familiar with Big Ear Tupac. What'd you say? What'd you say? Drake is better than Tupac and Big Ear. They ain't got oh, no Drake. Before Lil Yachty would star in a Sprite commercial. Before Lil Yachty would be nominated for a Grammy and collaborate with Migos, Young Thug, Cardi B, DaBaby, Diplo, Stefflon Don, YG, Drake, and more. Now things weren't always easy for a young Miles. He was often being teased, bullied, and harassed by friends, and his red haircut wasn't exactly helping. Now while attending Pebble Brook High School with Miles, he worked at a McDonald's, and in his free time he would connect with local rappers and producers. Now there was also an arrest the year before he made it where he was caught with a whole bunch of fake credit cards. Your manager at McDonald's, what rap group was he in? I don't know, but I know exactly what you're talking about. I don't know. I don't, he, I don't remember, but I know what you're talking about. I don't remember. After attending college for two months and hating it because he didn't fit in and feeling like the education system is stuck 10 years in the past. It's a waste of time. Bunch of people running around, bumping into each other. Got guy up front says two plus two. People in the back say four. Well, young Miles, he dropped out much to the dismay of his parents. Now, he always knew that he would be rich and famous, but for his future, well, he needed some kind of career. So he decided to start pouring all his energy into making music, his own kind of music. Now, Lil Yachty, he's always been a man standing out from the pack, dyeing his hair red at the age of 15. Although for this video, we dug up a whole bunch of clips of him before he blew up in a big way. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Michael McCredden, back at it again with another Before They Were Famous video, this time an updated episode of Lil Yachty. Now, if you're a frequent viewer of my content, we will be doing a bunch of updates for the next few weeks. We got to get this channel's algorithm back in tip-top shape. We also uh, hear that if you guys smash the like button, that really helps us out as well. Now, as always, be sure to let us know who's next in the comments down below. All right, now let's get into this video. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! Lil Yachty was born Miles Parks McCollum on August 23rd, 1997 in the West Side Atlanta suburb of Mapleton, which actually looks like a pretty picturesque place. Now he has an older brother and a younger sister, Nina. Now his father, Shannon, was a photographer whose career included portraits and documentary work of Outkast, Dead Prez, Too Short, and others. Now his dad, he actually named him after Miles Davis. His mother, Vanita, has actually written a book titled Raising a Rapper, and in there she details him telling her five years before he made it, I'm gonna be famous and I'm gonna be rich. Just watch. Growing up, Miles' father, he would share with him all sorts of different music, everything from Coldplay to Kid Cudi. Now Lil Yachty, he started to take an interest in artists who broke away from the norm and would pave their own path. Some examples include Lil B because of his I don't give a f attitude that mesmerized young Miles. Also, Andre 3000's artistry and Soldier Boy's come up story. Miles attended Pebble Brook High School and he picked himself up a part time job working at McDonald's. Now, when he wasn't working or at school, he was networking with other artists and aspiring rappers. Now, being someone who always wanted to stand out from the pack, well, he dyed his hair red. And in his Rolling Stone interview, well, Lil Yachty stated, my older brother was gangbanging, selling drugs, and I think he was kind of embarrassed to me. Kids would tease and name call him, but Miles, he was in his own lane. Because we all in our own lane, all got something completely different going on. Now, when he graduated from high school, his mom had plans for him to go to college, but he had a different plan in mind. Now, in her book, she explains, the whole time he was at school, he kept saying he didn't want to be there. He kept saying that he was supposed to be rich and famous. He wasn't supposed to be in school. Hi, I'm Bill Collins here at the Bill Collins Show. We're here with, uh, Brian. Uh, we're here with him. So uh, we're just gonna ask you a couple questions today. So, if a fork was made of gold, would it still be considered silverware? Yes. Um, is it gold plated or fully gold? <laughs> Following graduation, he made the move to New York, crashing on Fred's couches, and now going by the name of Lil Yachty, a name inspired by his love for the nautical clothing line. Also his crew, they were known as the Yacht Club. I was Yachty before Nautica. I was Yachty before I even kind of knew what Nautica was. Okay, so why were you Yachty then? Let's start there. Um, I'm in a group called the Yacht Club, and they were all like a lot older than me. 
and I was kind of the baby, so I just called myself Lil Yachty. While in New York, he made a list of all the coolest influencers, including Ian Connor, who took notice of Yachty's supreme coat, and the two they exchanged contact info. Now, New York it can be an expensive city, even when you're couch surfing. So soon, Miles, well, he ran out of money. In terms of money, we have no money. And when September came around, well, he decided to make his mom happy, and he attended Alabama State University. But while there, he soon discovered that pursuing a practical career and a way of life, it just wasn't for him. I went to college, and it was horrible, and then I knew <laughs> music was the prank. Yeah, like, exactly. Where'd you go to college? Alabama State. And it just wasn't for you? It was trash. Why? Because they were, like, 10 years behind, and they, they hated me. Who hated you? Everybody. Because yeah, they didn't understand. The hair, they didn't right? understand exactly, yeah. your persona, your character. They mm -hmm. felt like he was. He was probably the single dad as the weirdo when he was, you know, yeah. just different. That's exactly. He just exactly. had like a different artistic okay. approach. Now he didn't fit in with anybody, and he was getting teased by all of his schoolmates. Now it got to the point where he simply stopped leaving his room. No, it was then he started seriously writing his music, which included tracks, Hell O's, and Minnesota. I actually think we were the first ones to break this story when we did his original Before They Were Famous, but there is a photo of Miles who got arrested in Palm Springs, where he shopped with fraudulent credit cards. His bond was set at $11,000. The arrest went down in 2015, and I found an article in the South Florida Sentinel that reads, two men accused of having dozens of fake credit cards at a mall at Palm Beach Gardens. Now, an employee at a hat store known as Lids well, they told mall security that they suspected that these two men were using fraudulent credit cards. They then called security. When the security approached Miles, well, he handed them one of these fake credit cards. His friend's name is Clarence Logan. They found him at Nordstrom when security went up to him. This resulted in a brief chase. All of a sudden, they handcuffed him, and they all went down to Palm Beach County Jail. Now, the boys faced some serious charges. We're talking fraud, forgery, and counterfeiting charges. Whatever was going on with Miles, it wasn't looking good, and from there he dropped out of school and moved back to Atlanta. Now he hooked up with producer Burberry Perry and later on K Supreme. Now together the three, they would get to work in Little Yachty's bedroom studio, and he got his first taste of success when Drake's OVO Sound Radio, well they aired his hit Minnesota. Now from there he got hooked up with Coach K at Quality Control Music, and he began working out of the same Atlanta studio as Migos. His big break came with his track One Night, for which he filmed a pretty incredible music video, stylized like a parody, and he got some help from his high school pals. Now when the video was done, he posted it online, and then he messaged it to all his New York contacts. Now it quickly got 100 retweets, then it got 500 retweets, then 1,000, then 10,000, then 20,000, then 100,000. All of a sudden it hit World Star, it blew up on Facebook, it got millions of retweets, millions of likes, millions of views, and then Chief Keith he posted it, and it went viral. Now today the video is sitting on a whopping 125 million views. Now with some buzz, he returned to New York City and his old friend Ian Connor, well he introduced Lil Bo to ASAP Rocky. Now from there, he was invited to appear in Yeezy season three runway show in 2016, which was being held at Madison Square Gardens. What did y'all say? You look around and there's so many Kanye's. I used to love Kanye. Soon to follow was his debut mixtape, Little Boat, and his huge hit, Broccoli, working alongside Dram, which peaked at number five on the Billboard 100. Now this would also earn him a Grammy nomination. Now he also landed a spot on the 2016 Double XL freshman class list alongside 21 Savage, Lil Uzi Vert, and Kodak Black. I just got out of high school. I ain't go to high school. <laughs> See, I went to. I was I, in juvenile. I went to four high schools. I feel like one reason why we all got picked because we all in our own lane. Uh, got something completely different going yeah. on. From there, it's been nothing but success for Lil Yachty, and he's recently dropped a new album, so we decided to take another crack at his come up story. Let us know what you think about this update in the comments down below. As for the rest of the story, well, I think we're gonna wrap this one up here because this is Before They Are Famous. My name's Mike McCrad, and we make all sorts of celebrity bios here for you on this channel. If you're new, be sure to subscribe. Let us know who's next in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!